Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 12. It's the final war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called uh, Hero Plus. I can't actually read their name there. But I'm going in with my standard team. Now, understand that we have been pushing to get into Platinum. Uh, we saw an opportunity to get to Platinum 3, and we were making a little extra push that was out of reach a few wars ago okay uh, I take path two in section one you see that they did not place a defender on that first node uh, when we looked at this war um, we knew that whether we won or lost this war we were gonna get platinum four we were firmly in platinum four nothing we could do uh, would get us out of it or get us into Platinum 3. So I think the attitude going in here was a lot more relaxed and I think some people probably were too relaxed, but we'll see. Um, I, I went on a little bit of a rampage um, towards the end. I got a couple of minis down, uh, so you'll see that at the end. Uh, but this first fight, as you can see, not that difficult. The reason that I'm firing my specials off which is something I don't normally do because I run suicides and I like to avoid the recoil damage. But those nodes want you to fire your specials in order to reset those counters. When those counters go down to zero, you get a suppression buff on you. And you want to avoid that. Now, this one uh, wasn't the one that was really bad. In section two, uh, it's power uh, control and it will power lock you. All right, so I didn't take this many, and I only had one fight in section one. We're gonna remedy that. All right, um, they've already cleared out this uh, middle piece here, and they are already ready for me in section two. So I'm sitting here, I'm just like, oh man, I gotta fight another guillotine 2099. She's not hard to fight, but I don't need to be fighting her if I'm tired at, at all. Because uh, I will forget to heavy, and she'll go digicloak right when I fire my special or something, and then I'll get wrecked. So you got to pay attention when you're fighting her. But uh, this one is the uh, strike counter, uh, the power one. So you want to fire off your specials to reset it, unless you have a champion that it doesn't matter whether they have power or not because they don't rely on their specials. All right, so I went in here with my Warlock. And you saw that I fired off a heavy attack right off, and that put her Digicloak on cooldown. All right, I fired off a special so that I wouldn't get power locked uh, too early. All right, Digicloak is on cooldown again here because we got knocked her down. All right, and it's off cooldown at this point, so you don't want to attack her here. Fired off a heavy, now it's on cooldown again, and I'm free to go to town. And boom, 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 she's gone. All right, her self-repair against Warlock's infection, doesn't matter. Uh, you might notice that my Warlock is awakened. Yes, I did use a tech awakening gem on that Warlock. No regrets. Um, there's an item use on right now, so I'll probably uh, put all of my tech Sig Stones into Warlock. I don't have anyone else um, other than like OG Vision that would get my tech Sig Stones at this point. All right, so... Next up, we've got Havoc, and you already know, Warlock is an awesome Havoc counter. He has a armor up buff, as you see there. As long as he has that armor up buff, Havoc cannot uh, get those plasma detonations on him that are so devastating, but you have to be careful. There are things that you can do that will mess you up and remove that armor, and you'll get plasma detonated, but you'll notice uh, I'm getting the spores, but, um, let me see. No, I don't get the spores here. Um, I thought I saw the spores. Yeah, yeah. Get the spores, but when it detonates, doesn't matter. Uh, now the counter is off to the left. You can see that they are counting down to zero after you do certain actions, like a heavy attack and medium attacks, all that. Uh, and every time you fire a special off, it resets those counters. So you see all those suppressions there? Since I had him almost down, 
I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and go in there. My infections should work. Um, it's doing a little bit of damage. Um, but we got him down. Not too difficult, okay? Um, I, I, I started to ignore the node towards the end of the fight. But that's how you want to fight that uh, node. And if you're not running suicides, fire off your specials every chance you got. You know? Um, and you don't have to worry about that node. All right, so again, did not take this mini. So we keep going, and this is where I'm like, you know what? Let's go. You know, so I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, I do not want to go to the right because I run suicides. I'm not trying to mess with that void, especially on the stunning reflection. Um, I've vented about that node before. Um, I just am not well suited for it. If I get used to it, then I can adjust my play style. But on the fly for this one fight, when I'm used to fighting a different way, it's just not good. All right, so we've got Rage here. And so I'm like, all right, I know what I'm going to do, especially against Man-Thing. All right, I want to use my Omega Red, who I would love to have awakened. All right, so uh, I'm going to try to slow play it. Omega Red is poison immune, and he doesn't take any uh, bleed damage from the debuff. You see, I'm just getting smacked up. Now, Omega Red also is sustainable. If you fire off his special three, however many spores you have on will get converted into a health buff. So the potency of his health regen after a special three depends on how many spores you have on uh, your opponent. Now, I, I I don't like fighting Man-Thing at the best of times. Um, and, of course, they have the stubborn uh, tactic. I'm trying to learn to uh, evade a little bit early. I'm used to evading late because I played with Starkey for so long, and that's how you build up your poise charges. So when I learn to evade, I always evade at the last minute so that, you know, I could... Uh, do the decks and build up poise for Starkey. But in this particular case with this global, you want to avoid that. Now you can't avoid it when you're trying to um, bait out the special like you saw there, um, but it's a little bit slow, but you'll notice that my health went nicely up, okay? Any debuff on me because I have willpower is gonna heal me. All right, so I don't even need to fire my special three off right now to heal. I'm good. And remember, I got hit early in the fight. So we're doing good here. We're not triggering rage because he doesn't do a lot of his damage with crits. Instead, it's a lot of those spores. And I'm playing it pretty slowly here. Okay, just whittling him down. We've got three minutes, plenty of time. Okay, now we got to bait out this special two here. We do not want to eat a special three. All right, there we go. And I rushed in a little bit too early. And I was all happy. I was like, yeah, I've got full health. We're doing good. And uh, what it was saying, fools rush in. Yeah, I was a fool right there. Rush right on in. So I fired off the special three. Why not? And uh, got a little bit of a power, uh, a little bit of a health uh, boost there. Because uh, I didn't have that many spores on him. And uh, so we're going in again. We got the indestructible, so we need to get um, take a blocked hit or parry. And then we can go to town. And boom. Got him down. Not the fastest of fights. And he was already uh, almost dead. I think he was like half dead already. Um, you know, an annoying fight. But Omega Red uh, can do it. As long as you take your time. Now. We've got MODOK. I don't like MODOK. I don't like fighting him, but I know how to fight him. And so I'm looking here and I'm like, okay, Hurt Locker, Footloose, okay. Nothing there looked like it was going to be difficult. Now, with my uh, Nick Fury, one of the problems that I have fighting MODOK with Nick Fury is that unless I get the timing just right, his auto block will come up right as I'm about to finish off my combo, the last hit of my combo, okay? And you can see I'm just messing up here right off the bat again. 
All right, so I'm like, all right, he's indestructible. Let's bring it back. The real Nick Fury is not out yet. All right, boom, now the real Nick Fury is out. Let's just say I did that on purpose. All part of the plan to bring the real Nick Fury out, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, so now you see here. Now I should just slow play this, okay? Um, he's not that bad to fight if you play it slow. All right, so um, evading his special one, you got to learn how to do that. Um, it's not too difficult. You see there, got hit on my foot. It's all good. Didn't do that much damage. All right, fire off my special three. The real Nick Fury is out, so it's going to do some good damage. Okay. Boom. That's a lot of damage. All right, we evaded that one. He's indestructible, so all of my... Um, any bleeds or anything are canceled by the indestructible. And then right there, what happened is I actually managed to finish my combo and I was so surprised it threw me off because I didn't think I was going to do the combo. I was expecting the block, but it didn't block. And I'm like, oh, and then got wrecked. I should have been able to get the one shot on that MODOK, but it is what it is. You live and you learn. Definitely not um, Nick Fury's fault. All right, so next up, we've got Omega Red. Now, he should easily be able to finish off this MODOK, right? You know, um, keep those spores on him. Evade those special ones. All right. Get some heavy attacks in there to keep the spores. There we go. We want to get that blocked hit. Do the heavy. Okay, we got the spores. And it's nice that the Indestructible does not cancel the spores out at least that's really nice all right you know do another heavy and we should be good here all right get the blocked hit and special two to finish it off so modok down one death not too terrible if this were in the season i'd be reluctant to do this because for one i don't like dying and i feel like i've let people down especially if the war is really tight Someone else may have had a much better option for that MODOK. And me going in there, yeah, you can do it, but, you know. So next up, we've got Doom. Now, I don't usually fight on this node. It's improved power gain. It requires a slower player, more patient than I usually am. And so I'm just like, you know what? It's the last war of the season. Let's go. All right. So here we go. I'm trying to... Get some spores on him and I'm looking up and I'm going, okay, his health is going down pretty nicely. So if we can keep this up, we should be good. All we need to do is evade those special ones. Do not push him to a special two and keep the spores on him. Okay, there's the indestructible again. There's a special one. We evaded it nicely. Boom. And we don't want to stay near him right now because we have that shot. All right, so... We want to evade as fast as possible while we have the shock on us. Okay, so I go back in, tap him a little bit, get the parry, do some heavy. Almost got hit, but he whiffed. So we had the distance because I basically did that and was already backing off. All right, so now we need to get that special one out of him. All right, one tap, hit the parry, and now we can go in. And we've got four minutes. So if we just keep this up, we're good. We can get this uh, doom down, all right? And don't ask me what happened right there. I'm not gonna complain or vent. I've told you when it's my fault, my mistake. That annoyed me, okay? But anyway, um, so I'm like, all right, you know, we gotta be a little bit careful here because I can't trust when I go evade and I'm almost dead now. And I'm like, oh my goodness, we were doing so well. All right, um, can't fire. Well, I could fire the special uh, two off, but uh, the recoil damage, I, I really don't want to do that. So I'm like, okay, I got a special three. All right, all we need to do is evade the special one again, which we've been doing and we choked. So the other one, that I got hit, that was not my fault. Okay, I swiped back, it didn't do it. 
That one, I choked. I had the special three, and I was trying to get him down far enough that I could final, uh, you know, finish him off with a special three. Just needed to bait out that special one, maybe hit him a few times, a combo, and before he got to his next special one, I would have fired the special three, hopefully finishing him off. But we choked. I was looking up there, got a little too excited, anticipating that special three, and got caught by his uh, special one. All right, but we cleared the left side of the minis, and uh, I was pretty happy about that. Uh, then I had to go do some things, but that's the last um, that I needed to really do in this war. I did fight the boss with Warlock for a little bit. Wasn't worth uh, even recording. Um, we got him down a little bit. Uh, I believe I did that on stream. All right, but uh, that's it for my participation in this war. You can see that Void is being fought right now. Uh, we did get our boss down. So uh, let's take a brief interlude and we'll come back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back and I was honestly surprised. I thought we were gonna win this war. Not that it would have made a big difference as far as our final standing, but I thought our policy was always to get our bosses down. Uh, I don't know what happened, but my uh, battle group was the only one that got their boss down. Uh, so we lost. You guys can calculate this uh, and see if we would have won had we gotten all of our bosses down. Um, I believe we would have. Uh, if we didn't, it would have been very, very close. Um, but that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Take care. Uh, we will have a video with the rewards and the um, final outcome of this war when we know it, probably sometime tomorrow. All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.